Importing transactions. This facility allows you to import money in and money out, donations and transfers from your bank statements. You can choose to either import files using the provider's template or use a standard template that we provide to copy the data into before importing. Let's start by having a look at using your provider's files. You may import transactions from different sources, such as two different bank accounts. Each file type needs to be configured within the software before importing. To do this, go to Administration and System Settings and Import File Maintenance. So we need to click on Add and we need to enter the relevant details. So Import File Type, we need to give it a name. So I'm going to call this my Barclays file type. Now we need to put a sample import file. So if we select uh, my Barclays import file here, what it does is it displays the information that's held within this file at the bottom of the screen. This helps you to determine which columns hold the relevant information. So transaction date. So what we're doing is we're mapping the column headers to the relevant fields within the Paxton system. So transaction date, that would be my date column. I don't have a type. My debit and credit values are both in the amount column. And in this case, my transaction reference is actually in the memo column. You can also specify whether you want to automatically reconcile the transactions when they're imported. The system actually imports all of this information here, account code, fund code, donor reference, etc. But your provider's template is likely not to include that information, so we can just leave these fields blank. So once you've entered everything, click on record. And you'll need to repeat this procedure for all different file types. If you decide to use the Paxton template, then you would need to copy and paste the data from your provider's template into the Paxton template before entering the details into this screen. So let's add a file type based on the Paxton template. Okay, once we've selected it here, the information is displayed down the bottom as before. Because this particular file template has got all the headings already, then you'll be able to map all of them in here. So transaction date type, again my debit and credit value in the same column, and reference, account code, fund code, and donor reference. Again, once all the information has been entered, just click on record. You can also specify a gift aid account. If you're importing donations that are for gift aided donors, you specify the relevant gift aid income account here. Now we come to import the actual transactions. So this is the same procedure if you're using a provider's template or the Paxton template. So if we go to nominal ledger and then import transactions. So first thing to do is select our import file type. So let's start with the Barclays import. Now we need to select the actual file itself that holds the transactions that we're importing. And they will be displayed at the bottom here. So money accounts, that's the bank account we're importing into. And give it an import reference. So this could be a bank statement reference, for example. You can only import a file once. If you select a file that has already been imported, it will display a warning message and prevent you from proceeding. This will stop any duplications. So what we need to do now is go through the list of the transactions and assign it the relevant types. Because the system doesn't know what these, the references relate to, we need to give it a type. So this will either be income expenditure, donations, a transfer, or we can choose to skip it 
which means that we, it's held as unprocessed because you're not quite sure what to do with the transaction um, for you to be able to process it at a later stage. Or you can choose manual, which will mean it will completely ignore the transaction and it won't be imported. So I'm going to choose my types. once you've selected those or the income accounts you'll need to select the relevant account code so you can right click and choose the correct income analysis code if it's a transfer you'll get a selection of your money accounts So if it's skipped, we'll leave that one. Manual, we'll leave that one too. And if it's a donation, then you need to specify the donor reference. So again, you can right click and choose from your list here. Fund code, you can right click and select them. However, you might find it easier to use a default fund at the top. So if everything's going to your general fund, you can select general at the top there and that will default that into this column where there's nothing entered. If you have the odd one that's going to a different fund, you can select it here. And this also applies to your default account. So that's this account code field here. Anything left blank will default to whatever you select at the top here. And once everything's been entered, if you click on confirm, you'll see it's now defaulted in general to all those blank lines. So it's going to import everything that hasn't got skip or manual against it. And click on record. It's now imported those transactions. So now let's do another one based on our Paxton template. Again, we put the same information in, bank account and the reference. And because the majority of this information has been entered directly into the file, we don't need to enter the type because it's already there. And our account codes are already there and the fund codes as well. So again, I'm going to put general as my default fund. Anything that does have a donation as a type does need to have a donor reference. So you might find it easier to select the donor reference in this screen rather than put it directly into the Paxton template file because you get a list of your donors here. Again, once everything's been entered, just click on confirm and record. If we to view the unprocessed transactions, that will list all the transactions that have had a skip as the type assigned to it. And from this screen, you can then put the correct type against it to import them. Or if you want to delete them completely, you can just choose manual. There is also a print facility where you can print your processed imported transactions or the ones that are unprocessed are the ones you've assigned skip to them or for a particular import file. And that's how you import transactions.